Ahoy there! This program is not made for kids. It includes swearing and mature themes that are not suitable for kids under the age of 13. I'd also like to point out, SRP does not condone underage drinking or drinking in general, trespassing on railway property, and fights on public transport. Please do not. It isn't cool. It's illegal. <laughs> Other than that, you should enjoy the fucking show. <laughs> this program is rated 14 plus and may contain mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. The engines of the Farquhar branch were excited. The annual Farquhar Day Peach Festival was in town. Lots of farmers and special attractions were set up along a stretch of the tramway, which meant that only a few trucks or even regular trains could squeeze through. This, however, didn't bother the Sodor tramway as they were chartered by the event organizers to run special shuttle services along their usual routes. This made sure that the townsfolk could get home safely after a day of fun. You guys are lucky, said Toby, who was filling up with water at a nearby tower. How so, Toby? Us tramps can't even fathom an event like this. What purpose does it have besides passengers? Well, my... Dear electric friends, indeed, the Peach Festival helped farmers and neighboring markets sell fresh, organic fruits and vegetables. So why, why call it a Peach Festival if you're going to be selling all sorts of products? That's because the peaches were in season this year, so henceforth that was the theme. That seems like a lot of unnecessary work to find foods that go well with peaches. And thankfully, you trams wouldn't have to find it for the farmers. What a tragedy that would have been. Mentioned Scarlet Hat, who had been eavesdropping on the entire conversation. Now listen up. Since the farmer's market is set up a bit close to the track, we have been given a temporary speed restriction. Instead of the usual 15 kilometers, we've been told to take it down to 4 to 5 kilometers. Uh, ma'am? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, um, this would cause us to be late with our other regularly scheduled train. Don't worry, Chester. I saw this from a mile away. Stanley, Daisy, and Bertie have willingly agreed to help take some of our passengers if the workloads are too much. I have Castle Frank on regular duties. Please be careful, as we will be dealing with a lot of rowdy passengers today and tonight. The three trams looked at each other with worried faces. During the day, Pape, Chester and Warden found themselves running up and down the line with families and vendors going to the Peach Festival. Soon, true to Miss Scarlet Hat's words, several townsfolk boarded the trams feeling all disorientated. I love my job. Chester and his siblings noticed that night a lot more people were confused and disorientated than they were in the day. Unfortunately, that also meant a lot of vomiting and or fighting while on board. My goodness, these passengers can't seem to take it down a notch with drinking especially when it comes to this beverage. 
what makes these this lovely delicious drink so good? It's called the Georgia Peach, a type of alcoholic drink served at pubs, stores, or even events like today. Ugh, yuck. It seems that these drinks are so good that so many people are having way too much of it, which in turn is leading to people to either be crabby or drunk or oh, vomit in my tram, said Chester's driver, who was cleaning the inside of his tram's interior. Meanwhile, Pape was dozing soundly to sleep, when she was abruptly woken up by the sound of screaming and yelling. Holy spark plugs! What's that sound? Sorry, Pape. I was trying to get this lovely passenger home. They keep on making so many strange noises, not to mention pulling my emergency cable. It has been rather uneventful. Before Warden could finish his sentence, both he and Pape heard glass shatter from the back of Warden. Ow! You simpleton! Glass shards lay everywhere. Poor Warden was taken out of service for the rest of the night, with the man being promptly arrested and charged with damages to railway property. <laughs> so how's the pressure? Laughed Chester that night in the sheds. Don't even talk to me. That peach drink is sending everyone afoot. Drunken passengers must be your type. Me and Chester got lucky with only a few. Teasing me again? How original. Trust me, you'll get your coumpence, don't you worry. Pape just scoffed and went to sleep. Little did she know that trouble would find its way into her cab. During the night, three strangers trespassed into the tramway yards. They were rather intoxicated and itching for something to do. Let me drain this bedroom. No, Josh, <coughs> you are getting in trouble. But Josh didn't care. He soon punched Pape's door open and clambered inside. Without the proper training to operate this kind of machinery, she and her sibling Josh just started to push buttons. Until... Parking breaks off. Hey, look! Here comes the train! Uh-oh. What's going on? Who are you? And what are you? Pape soon realized that she was rolling uncontrollably. The junction ahead wasn't set properly. Pape closed her eyes as she felt the hard pavement beneath her wheels. Pap! Oh my goodness. Pape, are you okay? Oh, I think so. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Pape knew it was going to be a while till she was put back on the rails. The two trespassers were caught, luckily arrested and charged with criminal mischief and damage to railway property. I warned you this would happen. Quiet, you! The next morning, Miss Scarlet Hat arrived to make sure Pape was okay. I'm fine, ma'am. Honestly, this is just a little bit of a wake-up fight, that's all. Well, just in case, I'm sending you to the works. As for those silly fools, they have been banned from using the Northwestern Railway Tramway. Also, I've spoken to the event organizers and asked them to tone down the selling of alcoholic drinks. Pape breathed a sigh of relief. As true to the words of the Peach Festival group, they had limited the amount of the Georgia Peach to one drink per customer. And as for Pape, well, let's just say Chester and the other engines call her the Drunken Disorderly Tramp.